Hi, Casper on the 15th of March 2024. Got a Portuguese red wine here. This is 2011 Quinta de Valmial Tinto. Um, so we're in port country here. This is the second bottle out of the second case. My second case of this. I've drunk the case already. Um, and the price has gone absolutely tonto. I, can't, I honestly can't remember what we offered it at a very long time ago. Uh, Ten years ago, perhaps. Um, but I think it's sort of £300 a bottle or something crazy now. Um, it's a blend of... Um, as you'd expect, largely Triga Nacional, 55%, 34% Triga Franca, 6% Tinta Barocca, which is a grape in Portugal that's really fallen from grace um, and was popular for many years and, and, and still is a quite a large um, ingredient in some uh, South African blends um, and a little bit of 5% of Tinta Rorish. Um, which is one of the many, many um, Iberian names for Tempranillo, the grape of Rioja, which I'm sure you know. Um, it's extraordinarily deeply coloured. It's extraordinarily purple in colour as well. I mean, after all that time, you'd expect it really to look older than this at uh, 12 and a bit years of age, but it's pretty much opaque, very narrow band at rim, sort of mulberry purple colour. And it's not massively shouting about itself. This has been, I decanted this maybe an hour ago. But there's lots going on there. It's got a, it's got a dry, sandy note that almost reminds me of almost takes you into Pesach Lénion, but everything else is so far removed. There's a creamy, almost, um, yeah, cream liqueur, dark fruit note, but it's balanced by aromas of smoke and earth and licorice. Something a little herbal, perhaps. So much going on there. It's a um, hint of mushroom about it. It's dark. It's it's quite a. It doesn't come over as uh, overly fruity, exuberantly fruity. It's quite looking down into the earth, slightly inky. Well, I've, I've tasted this, and I love to do this with wine, you know, buy 12 bottles, taste one very, very young, and then successively throughout its life. And um, this has now had a chance to relax into its maturity. And the tannins of uh, Triga Nacional and, and, you know, the, uh, principally, and, and the other port grapes have subsided and been been subsumed by the fruit they emerge at the end they're fine they're fresh they're clean um but they sort of meld onto a, a almost granular mineral structure um at the at the death it's almost a slight sort of note of cereal about it sort of you when you open a, a packet of oats, you're about to make your granola and um, that sort of smell. The blockbuster has, has mellowed a little bit and you're left with something that's sort of medium to medium full, but quite remarkably cool. Um, uh, it comes across um, and then the grip sort of kicks in and it's it's the palate's almost more about the structure than the, the fruit 
it runs runs long um, and, and that fine tannic support mixed with this sort of slightly granular mineral mineral um, quality it's fascinating it's it's all taken on a slightly autumnal character it's nicely fresh it's fascinating absolutely fascinating to see that color on a wine of this age when it's red if not slightly purple um, and very deeply coloured. It's it's a wine that I think needs needs food. Uh, it's not as it was some years ago, crying out for food to to soften those tannins down. You know, everything in the wine itself has softened down a bit. Um, but some some food would be nice with it. Herby lamb, r lamb and rosemary, something. It's a wine of real interest and uh, one that dusts the inside of your mouth with um, significant tannin but it's as I say it's it's really the tannins become integral to the wine so it's it's not um, really flinging itself at you the tannin it's it's all part of the experience and, it, and the experience is a very pleasant one I've got to say it's a it's a delightful wine delicious it's 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 not a pretty thing it's it's a it's a shapely and and yeah very nice thing I've got to say it's a really lovely glass of wine there we are that's been 2011 Quinta de Valmiel um, Tinto from the Douro Valley. Um, I'm going to enjoy another glass, I must say, with supper. But it's, I'm glad I've kept some, I'm glad I bought it, glad I've kept it. I've saved a lot of my money, goodness me, by buying it young and keeping it. But what a thing, absolutely delicious.